Hi, it's me, Jojo. And this week, before you click away because you realized you just clicked onto a Formula One video, what? Jojo talking about Formula One, what the heck? As you may remember, in my 25 things I've learned in 25 years, I said that one of the things that I've learned in my last quarter century of a life is that I thoroughly enjoy the sport Formula One. If you're not familiar with what that is, it is basically NASCAR, but like fancy and European. So last summer, my family got us really into Formula One because there's a Netflix docu-series called Drive to Survive, which overly dramatizes the big events from each Formula One season. So now that my family is super into it, we have been watching Formula One races. But the thing that really has captured my attention is that there is an arbitrary award that is given out for each race called the driver of the day. And it is basically a popularity contest for who the viewers watching it live think has done the best job that day. So while you're watching a race, you have to wait until the last 10 or 15, I think it's 15 laps, depending on the length of the race. And a little bubble will pop up on the TV that says vote for your favorite driver of the day. You basically Google Formula One driver of the day and it pops up their website. And then you scroll through all of the drivers and vote for your favorite. I mean, the drivers don't get anything from it. It's just like a fun Mr. Congeniality thing, right? But these photos, they drive me crazy. Like they, I don't wanna criticize the drivers individually. I don't wanna criticize the teams. I have nothing against any of these guys. They are all multi-million dollar athletes who get paid to drive cars very fast. It's very dangerous. I have a lot of respect for them. But these photos, I have so many questions. Who is in charge of them? who takes them, who decides like the angle that every guy is standing in. Are they standing? Are they sitting? Because you can't tell because not everybody does the same pose. And that's what drives me crazy. Because when you're in grade school or middle school or high school, at least in the US, you take school photos. Sit on a stool, right? There's a little marker on the floor for your feet. And then you look at the photographer and they tell you to turn your shoulders and tilt your head. And then you give a nice smile and everybody has the same photo. And I know, I know, I probably care way too much about these photos, but come on, I can't be alone in this thinking, right? Like if you watch Formula One, have you noticed this? Anyway, before I judge anybody else's picture, I figured I'd show you mine. This is my senior photo. These are from an email that my dad received that you can change the background on your child's photo from six years ago. <laughs> Look, I'm in Monaco. <laughs> so what I thought I would do is show you the photos and I would like to rank them for you. Let's get into it. I want to start with a really strong one. This is Antonio Giovinazzi. He drives for Alfa Romeo. He's a little off center, but his hair is really sleeked back and he takes up most of the base of the photo. You can tell that someone made sure that his collar was laying flat and that he's facing the camera. Really well done. I really like this one. I really don't have any criticism for this one. That's why I wanted to start with it. This is kind of our example that we're going in here. So this one automatically, we go in S tier. The next one is Fernando Alonso. Can you tell a difference already between those last two? Like Antonio here was really, really almost dead on to the camera, barely had an angle. But you can see Alonso has a little bit of an angle. The pose and the face that he chose to make, I just can't unsee him as like a 16th century Renaissance painter. Like, can't you see him having a little hat or like him having like a nice, tan collar apron smock thing on. <laughs> if you just saw his head in an art gallery, you would think, oh, that's clearly a self-portrait of a painter. No, no, he's a 2021 Formula One driver. Besides that, I really don't have any qualms with this one. I just wanna point out that if you see something cut off or like their hair is really close to the top and the framing is different, that's not my fault. I cropped them all the same and I captured all of the gray area. So as you can see, Alonso is like pretty close to the top of the box. We're two in and we have so many discrepancies. Okay, to rank this one, I'll, you know, I'm gonna give it an A. I think it's a pretty good picture. I think it captures his essence. He's a little bit more mature on, on the grid and everything. So we're gonna give that one an A. All right, next up we have Valtteri Bottas. And in this one, he has much more severe of an angle, but his head is pretty well centered. I mean, it's a little to the left, but I don't mind that. His collar's nice and flat. His hair is nicely done. There's nothing sticking up. You know, he looks happy. 
He doesn't look too grumpy or tired. You know, I bet all of these drivers just got off the track, but like he just looks like he just went out for coffee and showed up. I really like it. I'm gonna give this one an A as well. Okay, this next one, maybe my least favorite. And it is of Lance Stroll, who drives for Aston Martin Racing. Who did his hair? Nothing against Lance. His face compared to the one last year, which I happen to have a picture of because I screen grabbed it last year and sent it to my family. It's an improvement on that one, right? Did he have to like rush to these pictures because he was late? It looks a little suburban mom who doesn't have time to style her own hair territory. He's the son of a billionaire. Can't you just hire a stylist? If you have one, were they not there that day? Anyway, this one is not great. I'm gonna put it in E tier. Next, we have Nicholas Latifi driving for Williams. And again, I really like this one. I think the tilt of his shoulders is really too much, but his hair is nice. He got a little bit sticking up. You know, I really don't mind this one. His collar is really nice and flat. Um, there is a lot of gray area showing because of that severe angle of his shoulders, but overall not too bad. I'm gonna put this in C tier. I think it's fine. Next we have Sergio Perez. This photo is a perfect example of why I think there's no stylist or anybody on set with them when they're taking these photos because what is up with his hair? It's like that thing where you have headphones on for too long and then you get like a bump in the middle of your hair, but it's this way. It's like, it's like a reverse mohawk. I don't, I don't understand. Is that his, was that his first take and they only had time for one? Is that how these are done? They only have like one take and if that's the smile you make. I mean, that's how it is in school. I will say the angle of his shoulders and the way that his uniform is laid is pretty spot on. But because of his hair and the, I'm just confused by the face he's making. Uh, this one's gotta go in C tier. Now we have Esteban Ocon. This is again, another very strong contender of why I think these are all done differently because his angle, very similar to Valtteri and Alonso's here. But to me, it looks like his arms go forward a little bit. Like he's almost has his hands in his lap instead of at his side. You know, I really don't mind this one. I think it shows the like softness of him. So I'm gonna put this in B tier. No, nope, I'm gonna move it up to A tier. Next we have Pierre Gasly, very similar to Ocon's. I think his angles are not too bad, not too much gray. Again, pretty centered, takes up most of the frame. I think they could have zoomed in a little bit because they show a lot of his logo here. It goes down lower, I think, than on some of the other people. I think it could have been a little bit neater. I'm gonna put this in B tier. Okay, next we have Sebastian Vettel. Do you notice something about his photo? That's right, he has a hat on. Now, I'm pretty sure it's because he's balding. It's his hair journey, whatever, no judgment. He can wear a hat if he wants to, but like 95% of the drivers are not wearing hats. So his angle's not too severe, his collar's decent, but ugh, the hat just bothers me. I know it's your security blanket, but like, you gotta, just, you gotta lose the hat. All right, it's time for Kimi Raikkonen. I cannot unsee. Marty McFly. I can't, I can't unsee it. But he just looks a little confused. I mean, he kind of just looks like, oh no, my bully is now the emperor of the world, a la Back to the Future too, but I gotta kind of keep it together and ride my hoverboard to rescue everybody. He's got a little stress, looks a little stressed. I do like the angle, I think it's really nice. I'm gonna put him, I think, down with Vettel in D tier. Halfway there, friends. It's Max Verstappen for Red Bull. Right away, I'm struck by the angle, and I can tell because I can't really see his right shoulder here. I think his hair looks really nice. He looks like he could kill me. Like, he looks like I kidnapped his daughter and he's on his way to use his special skills a little bit. Also, I've never noticed these, like, polka dots on their uniform before. Is it their uniform? Their tracksuit? What is it called? Someone tell me in the comments. You know, it's not bad. I'm gonna put him in B tier. And now for something completely different, it's Daniel Ricardo, and he's smiling. He's the only driver who openly shows his teeth, everybody. His collars laid look really nicely. Again, his angle is pretty severe. I can just see his right shoulder there. His hair's a little messy. But overall, I really like this one. I think he's pretty well centered, and he's like, you know, he, he's very present in this. So honestly, I'm gonna put him in A tier. Next, we have Yuki Tsunoda. Have you noticed what's different and unique about his? He's crossing his arms. Now again, there's some photographer taking all of these in a row. He gets to cross his arms and nobody else does. 
I don't hate it. I wish they hadn't had him do that so that you could show more of his face, but he is one of the most centered drivers, which for a graphic, it's pretty nice. His collar kind of bothers me, but it's fine. I think this one's just C tier. No, it's B tier. It's fine. Okay, we have Nikita Mazepin for Haas. This one really bothers me. Like truly, it bothers me. Do you see how far off center he is? And I can tell that his arms are not just down by his side. His arm doesn't go straight down because there's this little gray space. So he must have his arms behind his back or on his hips or something, which again, no other driver does. And it's just weird. And look how they like barely fit his hair in at the top because they had to zoom so closely in. I don't, I don't know why that choice was made. This has just gotta be an E tier. They did him dirty on that one. Next up, we have George Russell. I really like this one. Again, like Giovinazzi's, I think the angle is really nice. You know, the facial expression that he's making, he looks a little bit like he aced his AP physics exam and knows that you didn't because he refused to help you even though you asked him for help because he was the smartest kid in the class, but you were like desperate to find a study buddy, but he was like, ooh, no, you play football. I'm not gonna help a footballer that kind of vibe. I noticed he has a little bit of hair out of place. So because of that, I think I gotta put him on A tier. Now we have Mick Schumacher driving for Haas. Very centered. They just really include the most of him that they can. And I think that this photo does him justice. I think that it's just really nice and pleasant. And I have no criticism for this one. This one's going in S tier. Good job, Mick Schumacher's publicity team. Here we go. Sir Lewis Hamilton driving for Mercedes. And again, with these weird poses, nobody else is doing this weird thumb pose thing. And I get it, he's like the reigning champion and whatever. He's also the only one with this like tilted head angle. Like that was a choice. Like I feel like he really came in with his own team and wanted to really nail this photo because he knows that it's seen on a lot of things. He looks intimidating. I mean, he definitely looks like the boss, but. I don't know. It's not as bad as some of these other ones. Like his hair is fine. So I think I just gotta put it in B tier. Now we have Charles Leclerc. He drives for Ferrari. Oh, this photo. <laughs> his hair just gives me that little kid from Stuart Little vibes. Even with these messy bang things here, he's got like this bit sticking out. And I think he looks the most like, I just got off the racetrack. I don't wanna be here but I'll try to endure it. That's like, the, that's this vibe. I mean, he's centered really well. The angle is pretty good. I think this one is just gotta be a B tier again because of his hair. Penultimately, we have Carlos Sainz who also drives for Ferrari. He's got longer hair. I know we just came out of a pandemic or whatever, but like, what is, what's with all the swoopy? I do like the angle and I did not notice this before, but I think he's also crossing his arms, do you see? They kind of go forward. He looks like the photographer stole his breakfast a little bit. Like he's not happy, but his uniform's laid really nicely. He's centered really well, but I just, <laughs> the hair and the arms, I think this one's gotta be C tier. Okay, the last one is Lando Norris. I, again, like this one because it's centered and his hair looks really nice, but what is this angle? It looks like his arm got like photoshopped out, like a bird pooped on him right before the photo and they were like, oh no, we have to photoshop his arm out. He can't be in the photo. A column of gray space where they easily could have zoomed in. <laughs> I think the face he's making is a little sad. I think he looks a little sad. I think he looks a little bit like the painting of a farmer who has to, you know, grow corn his whole life but his neighbor is a famous painter and wanted to paint his portrait. That's the vibe I get, but you know, it's not terrible. I think it's B tier. So there you have it. Those are my rankings. What do you think? Did you notice anything that I missed? I'm really curious. Do you all care as much as I do about these photos? Because we see them every race, every race. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I promise this is not a Formula One channel. This is just an interest that I have and I wanted to share it with you. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.